Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dark OP Destiny episode number 12 and this is the final episode of this anime. All right, the previous episode, um, quite a few things happened. Uh, Sagan went completely, uh, I don't know what he did. He completely like, you know, destroyed the whole place, the whole Symphonica headquarters and D2s are coming out now. And, uh, you know, like every, everyone, any, everyone is in chaos. Um, oh, um, Lotte and I think that was her name. Yeah, Lotte, Lotte and Anna, both of them got, uh, kind of trapped in the Symphonica headquarters. They were talking about like, you know, what to do in the future. And, uh, Lotte came out with an idea that she'll cold, uh, you know, like put, uh, Tucked and Destiny into cryogenic phase, then figure out what they'll do. And when they come out with, a um solution then they're going to unfreeze them and then do that so that both of them can be alive and that's why they were in the headquarters and like valkyrie came in and you know like all the other music arts are also also helping out and to fight the d2s tucked and uh tucked the destiny and titan come and they also start like you know fighting all this happens and um you know like stuff happens and by the end of it we do um get to see like what like we, we don't have any other explanation as to what is happening and why is sagan doing this probably this episode will explain it um uh, but we did see two uh, music arts fusing heaven and hell which i think like is part of the same music art and became orpheus so yeah we'll probably have to fight them now and uh, hopefully everyone comes out okay you know no one dies uh, i think no one will die because you know this is like a prequel to the game so we'll have to wait and see so anyways let's start let's start this episode so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get this started okay here's the countdown three two one go okay <clears throat> All right, so my God, like I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is the final. Yeah, this is the final episode. I kind of checked it out. So yeah, like this probably is the prequel to the game, and I like how they're doing this. You know, like it's like a like a kind of like an advertisement, isn't it? Like a people, a lot of people wouldn't have even have heard about this game, and now like you know that the anime is out. A lot of people will hear about it and I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in checking out the game as well because I'm guessing that will be a continuation from the, here. So yeah, like that'll be great and gacha games are like, you know, itself quite popular. So added to that, this advertisement is it's going to make it even more popular. Anyways, hope. Wow. My God. God, it it plays music. Wow, while shooting. Um, I don't think it's that easy, but yeah. My God, Doc is almost dying. Like you know, his face and everything, and he have to face this now. Oh boy. Okay. Won't oh my god, those are bombs. Okay, well. Hmm. Regenerating, great. It's even better.
Yeah. But if that misses, then it's over. My God. Oh, wow, it's, ah. Uh. What type of, it also has chains. Wow, look at that character design. Talking about Orpheus, like, amazing. Oh, but it won't work. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. Was not expecting that. Yeah. Okay, that was a distraction. A, a little bit is still left. It's going to regenerate. Yeah, there you go. Oh god. What? Well. Wait, really? Oh boy, God. Uh. Wow. Ah. Uh. Abandon. Oh, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. What the? Wait, who's? Oh, is this like a? Oh, it's so like flashback or recollection. Okay. I wonder why he's doing all of this, you know, like now that the things that he's doing All right These are the characters who who will probably be in the game. I, I've seen a few of them the character designs that I'm seeing now Especially that green-haired girl Okay. Damn it, it never ends. Wow, it's like one part they're showing the normal stuff and then there's another part is just like fighting Ugh. Ugh, wow
Whoa, what? Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I understand now. What he's... Oh my god. He actually realized what he... Oh god, this is twisted. This <laughs> is impaled and just talking like a normal... Ugh. Yeah, he's a twisted person. That's just it. I thought maybe there would be something, some other reason. Oh my god. Wow. Ugh. Yeah, like this. Great. Right ignore. Oh my god. Okay, let me... Oh. See the... Oh, is that why he's... Whoa, what the... Yeah, okay, that's what he's doing. My God, look at him. Wow, he is, yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, he's a little bit twisted. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, oh my god. Yeah, this guy's a little bit crazy. Yeah, okay. Well. Nah, everyone's dead. Look, like, what are you even saying? <laughs> Great! Wow, this guy! <laughs> Oh my god. Uh. 
Um. Oh my god! What the? Just slapped it away. What? Yeah. Oh my god! Whoa. Whoa. Great, guys. Hmm. Oh no, it's gone. Yeah, that's your own fetish. Keep it to yourself. Damn, it's faith God. Well, <laughs> yeah, ah. My god, that was something. Oh. <sighs> well, the current threat is gone, but the details are still will be there. We still have to fight. Oh, that's Still a big problem. Wait, is that the conducting stick? <laughs> uh. Oh uh, yeah, okay, his his own composition. Yeah, he can do it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank God they're okay. Like, I, I thought, like, yeah. <sighs> Oh my god, his hand is still...
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first, we need to think about the whole situation, like what to do with him and Destiny. Like, you know, the whole um, cold slip, sleep. Wait a minute. Wait, did it die? What? Wait. No, no, wait a minute. What? Oh no, she's disappearing. Wait. Oh no, what? I think something's probably going to happen after this because... No, no, no. What the? Wait, wait. Okay, he's alive. That's... Wait, then who's the girl we see in the game? Like, I thought no one's going to die. Yes, yet to end. That's Anna, yeah. Yeah, he, she changed. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, he's still... Is he like in coma or something? I think so. Wait, that's it? What? I, is, is there an after credit scene? I really hope there is because this doesn't answer any questions. Like what happened in the end? Like, I'm sure I've seen one of, like, you know, in the game, like, I've seen, like, the, the main poster of the game has a uh, Destiny in it. So I've always thought that, obviously, like, you know, like, Tart and Destiny will be alive by the end of it. I was not so sure about Anna and the other characters. But for Tart and uh, uh, Destiny, I was very sure that, yeah, they'll be alive and it's going to continue from, from that, from, you know, from there in, in the game onwards. But... Like, Destiny, Destiny, even Destiny is gone now, so like, what's going to happen? And, and who is that girl in the game then? Huh? 
Okay, well, I really hope there is a ending credit scene because this answers no question. Come on. Okay, there you go. Give us some answers. Wait. Oh. Wait, what? A oh, I realize now who that girl <laughs> who that girl is in the game. So it's Anna. Wait a minute. So oh my god, that means Destiny also died. So, oh. I had a feeling that someone's going to die in this, like, but, but I never really thought it would be Destiny because, as I said, like, you know, like, the, the game, the PV and everything that we've, we've seen, at least I've checked out from the game, there is a character who looks a lot like a, now that I think about it, I did feel a little bit, um, what can I say? It did feel a little bit unusual because the Anna that, uh, not Anna, sorry, uh, the Destiny and that I thought it was Destiny that I saw in the game looked a lot different than this Destiny. I thought maybe it was because of some, like, you know, difference in art, you know, like in-game art and the uh, anime art, maybe there was a little bit difference. Because of that, I thought that, that that was happening, you know, like the Destiny in the game didn't look any way like the Destiny in um, in the anime. But now everything makes sense. It was not Destiny in the first place. It was Anna. And yeah, now I can see the resemblance. The, the one in the game, it also has like short hair and, you know, and uh, big eyes. And, you know, like, unlike the Destiny we have all, always been seeing. That was Anna from the beginning. So, okay, the, there's one thing that uh, has not still been answered. Did Destiny really go away? Or what is is she still inside Anna? Because you know, like she has that 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 necklace thing, that the thing uh, from Anna's like, you know weapon, and uh, she is wearing that. Now she takes in Destiny's form, you know, like especially the the, the, the dress that she's wearing. So I would I think maybe Destiny is still inside her, or maybe like you know it's like. Um, you know, there's like some influence of that come coming into Anna when she transforms. Like, you know, otherwise, why would she wear the same dress that Destiny used to wear while she fought as a music art? And another thing. So wait, so Anna became a music art? Is that what it is? I think so. Okay, so th there's a few confusions still left, but um, yeah, this this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like for like you know, this ending is very what can i say appropriate for something that is going to have a game as a sequel like i'm sure a lot of people got in intrigued with this and probably are going to check out the game as to what's going to happen after this uh like you know will tuck uh, wake up obviously tuck will wake up because he is in the game and i think he is the main character in the game so i'm guessing in the game it will start somewhere like this like you know like tuck son like you know wakes up and she he listens to what happens and you know, gets to know what happens in, the, in that battle uh, uh, and about destiny and then you know like uh, anna comes in and like you know all this stuff probably it'll, it's going to go like that and then we again we will have to like you know we'll start on a new story start on a new journey when we'll have to like you know fight d2s and stuff and obviously in the game i'm guessing uh duck will have to make multiple contracts because it's a gacha game and you know that in itself kind of gives us what can i say uh a, like it gives us an idea as to how it's going to go he probably will have to uh, direct a lot of music arts and uh, not only uh anna or destiny but also like, I'm, I'm guessing like you know the, the main characters that we have seen in the game are valkyrie is there uh, i'm not sure if titan is there probably she is also there uh, there are a few other characters as well over there who we kind of saw here in this episode some of them were shown in little like you know like cameo ap appearances or something uh, this was like that one green haired girl one yellow haired girl all of them are in the game so 
it's probably going to go somehow like this and this is basically a prequel to what happened and how anna became destiny i'm guessing I'm, I'm still not sure what happened to destiny like is she still somewhere living inside anna or is she really gone and anna just is like you know became a music art and she transforms into that you know dress and that uh you know uh what can i say in that way because of the influence of the uh, necklace and because she herself you know like uh what can i say she herself very much uh adores uh destiny so maybe that's why she takes their form like this can go the, either in these two ways either destiny is still somewhere inside her you know inside that necklace and takes the form when she becomes a music art or that's just because she adores destiny so much that after becoming a music art she took her form who knows i really hope it's the former because you know like it's kind of sad to see destiny and like you know going away and yeah but anyways well we'll have to wait for that when the game comes out anyways this episode is the final episode um sagan here i always thought why did he do this you know and this episode answers that question for us he's basically a twisted person who just wants the like you know wants to make the world a better place that's just him you know he wants the world to be a better place but at the same time he's twisted so obviously in his own twisted way to like you know like to make the situation good he does something which is basically trying to kill everyone in one place and lure in the d2s so that he can seal them in here now obviously i don't know what he came and how he came into this conclusion but this plan has a lot of flaws first of all how do you even realize if all the d2s have came here like if there's some exception like you know d2s which are exceptions to it and they don't come here what are you going to do then like you know your whole sacrifice the people here plan and you know like lure them you lure the d2 here plan goes to waste because if some d2 is just like you know thinks that oh you know what everyone's going in that direction eh, i don't feel like it let me just chill out here and doesn't go <laughs> you know to the central place where everyone has been lured and being sealed if there's like that one exceptional very lazy d2 <laughs> and sagan like you know obviously sagan thinks that okay every d2 is here and she, he sees everyone dies himself dies you know all the people dies here and then there's that one d2 just chilling in his like you know in his shelter because it was too lazy and <laughs> <laughs> when it wakes up and sees that all his like you know friends are dead or something i don't know maybe it'll duplicate or like you know something will happen and the the, the threat of the d2 will start again how do you what what do you do in that situation that's number one number two um i remember this all the whole thing happened because some meteorites coming in what would happen if some more meteorites come in after this whole situation even if sahan is able to destroy all d2s what will happen if some more meteor suddenly falls in onto the earth and some more d2s pop out what are you going to do then like this is one of the most uh, what can i say foolish plan that i've ever seen like you know like he he basically tried to sacrifice the whole place just like you know because of his own like you know like weird um fetish and also because he thought that yeah this will kill all d2s but this plan has so many flaws and i don't know what the hell he was thinking but he just went with it and uh yeah like obviously this is not the way to like resolve a situation like what but anyhow um you know like that stopped that in the now here's the thing so <laughs> oh my god this guy ah uh... so basically he he began twisted because of the war uh, uh, between the d2 and the humans like he started like you know when he saw that people actually sacrificing themselves for their loved ones which is a very noble thing to do he basically twisted that situation and made it into like a f i don't know like a fetish for him he was like oh this is so great like you know seeing the death cries of people who are sacrificing their life for someone else or, or, or the greater good this is so amazing i really like it i want to see more like my god what type of a thing is that like you'll have to be like probably what twisted him you know like it happens to a lot of people i guess 
you know like being in like you know like at the beginning he was very like you know charismatic he was really nice he was like ah we'll fight for our loved ones let's go and uh, destroy the d2s but after like you know being in the um battle for so long like you know like killing d2s one after the other seeing deaths here and there beside him one after the other he he got twisted he he suddenly like you know that that scene when we see like you know he's just standing there blankly and then there's this one crystal he comes and touches it and he's like oh i understand like that's when he became twisted he like i guess like how much of a twisted person you have to be you know that you find excuse me that you find pleasure in seeing someone's death cries who sacrificed themselves for one of their loved ones like that's that's twisted and dark wow my god Ugh. well you know what um i do remember a similar character like this in another anime who kind of has a similar fetish um kotomine kire from the fate franchise oh my god yeah now that i think about it it's kind of similar to this guy well like i won't talk about it he he ha he's a very peculiar human being kotomi nakira and he has something my god in, in heaven's field it's kind of explained that um <laughs> okay uh for people who watch fate spoiler alert here you know you can you can skip this, this part uh, i won't take long um in heaven's field there's a portion where he talks about his wife where he says that my wife was ill and he was going to she was going to die and when she died i felt sad like his problem kotominikir's problem was he didn't feel die uh, sad when anyone close to her him died so to like you know and he himself knew that was very bad like as a very twisted as a human being so he like you know he married someone and like the, his wife loved him very much he also you know kind of he was okay with that and he thought that that would probably bring out her his you know like inner feelings and if she he would understand if he really can love people and when his wife was sick and she died he said that i also felt sad you know and i thought oh i am a human being but then later on he realized that it was not because his wife died he was sad he was sad because he wasn't the one who killed his wife like he wasn't the reason for the death of his wife that's why he was sad like that's twisted my god oh <sighs> and yeah this guy is not as extreme as that i guess but still it's kind of similar in in a way <laughs> great wow so yeah as i said the war probably twisted him he was a nice guy but uh, the war was a bit too much for him i guess like you know so yeah that's what happened and 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 heaven and hell were still like you know like obviously they were very much loyal to sagan up until the end and we still don't know what the hell happened there why they fused together maybe they were part of the same music art and that's why you know like maybe they were orpheus and maybe they split it into two parts that's why we've been seeing heaven and hell but i don't know if there's any other extra explanation on that or what maybe we'll get to know in the game but the reason why they fused and you know but anyways <clears throat> okay that was the whole thing with sagan the sagan calls them in uh the fight scene was amazing you know like <laughs> seeing destiny punch orpheus <laughs> beat him up uh, beat her up was just like, a beautiful animation and all and obviously like you know Takt goes to sagan talks to him and talks talks says about how music saves people you know and how we should not like you know do something like this and obviously sagan knew that he like you know nothing could be done anymore because uh since destiny came here he obviously realized that orpheus is gone so he knew he was like you know like he's going to die here and he was like yeah anyways <laughs> and <laughs> that killed him and that was just it now here comes the more interesting part not interesting but ah uh, the more the more important part is destiny disappears now as i said like this this has a few other implications and this can go in a few other ways um tuck is left with that thing the part of the weapon i think and um 
like obviously like you know like anna took it and is using it as a necklace or a, you know with around her uh neck and from all, what we could gather is Tuck is still in a comatose state, I think, probably, um, you know, they're still trying to wake him up. While uh, Anna, because, you know, she did not want to just wait for Tuck's, uh, you know, what do you call it, uh, waking up, she decided to join the Symphonica and I'm guessing she became a music art. Now, here's the thing, here's the thing that is still posing a question. Is Destiny still alive within that, uh, you know, like part of her consciousness is still there in the locket? the necklace and when uh, Anna becomes a music art is that because of her influence that she becomes uh, you know he, she takes her form destiny's form or is it just because she loves destiny so much that she after becoming a music art she herself decided that yeah I'll take this form or something like that it can go either way I really hope destiny is still somewhere there hopefully um, there is a chance because the the necklace is still there you know and since the necklace itself was a part of you know destiny and it still has not dematerialized i'm hoping that destiny is still there somewhere hopefully and uh, yeah so probably when Takt wakes up maybe like you know um uh, hana will make a contract with him and then they'll start fighting him probably it's going to go in that direction because as i said the game has anna i thought that was destiny that's not destiny that's anna anna in in the main like you know thing so wow like it's kind of um what can i say it's like it's so weird to think about it like all this while we've been thinking that destiny and tact was the main like you know main characters of this show but now we realize it's not destiny it's actually anna anna is actually the main heroine you can say of this show the main uh character one of the main characters and tact as well so like destiny was kind of like the like i don't know the predecessor or something you know something like that she she's in the, this one this is a prequel and the actual thing that's going to start which is the game there anna is like the main character uh you know and obviously takt is also there so wow it's like i never thought about it I, i've always thought like yeah destiny is the main character you know, Destiny will be the main character in the game as well, but no, actually it's not. It's Anna, most probably. My god, I, I really did not recognize her. Like, as I said, like, I felt a little bit of a difference in the art on, like, you know, in the game and this. I thought that was just because, like, you know, that's the game and this is the anime. That's why there was the difference. Because Destiny in this anime and Destiny in the game did not look alike. They had quite a few differences, especially their face, their hair, you know the way they look more matured, all that stuff. So I thought it was just because it was a game, but no, it, it's not. There, there's a big reason for it. That was Anna from the get-go. That was not Destiny. Well, <laughs> as I said, like I kind of I said this before, but when if it comes out, uh, I'm sure it will come out eventually in 2022. Uh, hopefully we get a global version. If not, I don't know. I really hope they get a global version very soon. Because I really want to check this out and when the game comes out, I'm, I'm surely going to like, as I said, I'm, I, I love gacha games and like, you know, after seeing this anime, I'm, I'm really interested in what's going to happen after this. So when the game comes out, hopefully it also comes out in English um, and yeah, we can, we can, you know, like, like I can, <laughs> like, you know, not I, but everyone can just, you know, play it and continue from there. My God. Wow. This is a good uh, ending kind of i'm sad that destiny is not here but we're still not sure if destiny is really gone or not who knows but yeah if destiny is really gone then that is kind of sad so yeah that was it that was my uh, reaction to the final episode episode number 12 of duct op destiny so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so that's the end and uh, i doubt there'll be a season two there probably won't because after this the game is going to start so yeah like no more seasons this is the one and the only season uh probably if you want to know more about the stories you have to play the game when it comes out so yeah so anyway see you guys uh, in the next video this will obviously be replaced with another anime i still not decided what it will be probably something from the next season from winter 2022 something out of the new batch of anime 
but i'll talk about it later on you know i'll let you guys know probably in the community post or something so yeah anyways see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day